Hello, I'm Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers, and this is my son, Cole. This weekend, all of us will celebrate mothers in our lives. For me, the last two years as a mother have been wonderful. Cole has been an unbelievable joy, and the fact he has Down syndrome has only increased my curiosity as to the impact he will have on our lives and on this world. I wanted to let you know that I've been working to increase funding for the National Institutes of Health's 10-year research plan for Down syndrome, and I recently joined with other members of the House to ask the NIH to use a portion of the funding provided to NIH as part of the economic stimulus package to meet their short and long-term objectives of the agency's strategic plan for Down syndrome. I know the most important title I will ever have, more important than the title of Congresswoman, is that of mother and wife. It's given me a renewed perspective on issues that come before me in Congress. Recently, ABC News interviewed me and some other moms in Congress about how we handle our duties as mothers and as members of Congress. I wanted to share that story with you and wish you and your mother a happy Mother's Day. Congress will be back in session after a two-week recess and among the 435 representatives, a small but growing group uh, who are bringing new life to the hallowed halls of Capitol Hill. Here's ABC's Rick Klein. Good afternoon. On Capitol Hill, their work is making laws. But for a select group of women, there's another job with even more demanding constituents. Been having a good day? Meet the new moms in Congress. Are there ever enough hours in the day? Never. <laughs> Kathy McMorris Rogers and Stephanie Herseth Sandlin are part of a small but growing caucus of lawmakers. Women who have given birth while in office. They face the same logistical challenges as many working moms. It's just they have to wedge in daycare and diapers around hearings and votes. The logistics of coordinating with husband's schedules, the logistics of when do the committee hearings start, when might the votes be called, what hours is child care available. Women have been cracking Washington's glass ceiling for years. But the glass crib is something new. Only seven women in history have given birth while serving in Congress. When Congresswoman Linda Sanchez has her baby, she'll be number eight. And there are a lot of single moms and working moms in this country. And I think to the extent that elected representatives can reflect the realities of their constituencies, I think that's a good thing. Sanchez reflects the realities of working in single motherhood. Though she's been with her boyfriend for two years, she decided a big wedding could wait. But at 39, she knew that having a bigger family might not. It helps that she has colleagues who've managed to make it work. I remember when I was first uh, expecting and sitting down with other members who have figured out how to balance the demands of this job and the demands of being a mom made a big difference. We all ran for Congress for a reason and wanted to be public servants for a reason and found it uh, enormously rewarding. They've been helped by what they see as a more family-friendly atmosphere under Speaker Nancy Pelosi, a mother of five and grandmother of eight. It's a real message. Uh, to working moms and young moms across America, that someone who shares their experience and their aspirations for their children is a voice for them in the Congress. I think Congress needs to have moms. There needs to be moms walking these halls. I can't think of anything that's more relevant work than trying to create that future that you would want to hand to your child. For Good Morning America, Rick Klein, ABC News, Washington.